What's up guys? I recently changed from my Skyward Smart TV to a Hisense Smart TV and that has prompted me to want to make a video about these two products because I know there are lots of us out there that wants to you know, know between a, a Hisense TV and a Skyward TV which of them is better to go for. Now in this video, I'm going to be making a comprehensive review about these two products and of course, I'm going to you know make a recommendation at the end of the video which is better than the other. But before we go into that, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one. I'll be right back. Moving further, it is important to know that both the Hisense and the Skyward TV I am going to be comparing here today are both of the same category, which is a UHD TV. That is, they are both UHD TVs. Now, I am not going to be comparing a a, um, a QLED TV to a UHD TV or a, a, a UHD TV to a HD TV and the reason is basically because they are both not of you know the same category and you know comparing one TV from one class to you know another TV from a different class will be an unfair comparison so yes you have to keep that in mind as well now to my first difference between a Skyward Smart TV and a Hisense TV it is the fact that Hisense uses the VIDA operating system whereas Skywards uses the Android or Google operating system. Now, this is actually a big difference because while you can get any app you can possibly like find on your smart Android phone inside of your Skyward smart TV, you can't get all the apps from, um, from your Google Play Store inside of a Hisense, Vida, Hisense TV that actually has the Vida operating system. Now you see, Android TVs are built in such a way that you can literally download any application from the Google Play Store because it inherently has that as an operating system, right? So you can just use the Play Store from the, you know, from the TV and download the application. But in a Hisense TV, it is usually difficult to do this. Now, mind you, Hisense actually has certain kind of TVs that actually has the Android or Google operating system. But I haven't been able to see, see this like in most African countries. What you get is, you know, the VIDA operating system. And this is actually a downside for um, Hisense because you can't get most of the, um, you know, apps you can get on Play Store into your smart TV. And even if you have to, you know, to do a walk around about it, you will have to cast your, maybe your Android phone into the TV. Now, I have actually explained a video on how to do that in the description of this video. So you can check that. But you know, this is actually a very big difference. And for me, I think it's a downside for, you know, Hisense TV. Another difference between a Hisense Smart TV and a Skyward Smart TV is actually on the picture quality. Now you see, they are both Ultra HD TVs, but by default, Hisense Smart TV usually comes with, you know, better picture quality than the Skyward TV. Now, putting both of them side by side, this is not something you would notice, but putting both of them side by side you will find out that Hisense usually has like a little bit of more saturation than the Skyward TV now this may not be of you know like of like big difference because um you the both TV still gives you the you know opportunity to still color tune the TV now by color tuning they, they give you the you know opportunity to still increase the saturation or you know the brightness and so on um in the video setting but that aside by default, Hisense TV usually, you know, has better quality um, pictures than the Skyward Smart TVs. Moving further, there is no doubt that Hisense is a way more durable product than the Skyward TV. Now, while preparing for this review, I had to go through the internet to find, you know, people's um, people's opinion and you know personal experience with those two brands. And I can tell you for fact that Hisense is way more durable and. This might actually stem from the fact that they are, you know, way more popular. The brand in itself, Hisense, is way more popular than Skyward. Now, the truth is, while um, um, stuffing the internet, I found out that, you know, a lot of people had complaints about the Skyward TV, you know, having lines and the rest of it, you know. But, you know, when when you compare it to the Hisense TV, it's not something that you will see like on on a regular now mind you i do not see i'm not trying to say that Hisense does not have issues usually i do advise people to just go to you know a certified you know distributor before getting those brands or um, those products because it is likely 
that you will get you know a fake product these days so it is usually good that you just go to a, a certified distributor or somebody you trust you know to get you the tvs now that aside it is also important to know that skywards actually has a lagging issue now this is something i faced um, myself it's some it's a little bit slower than a high sense tv now i do feel like this is a problem with you know the operating system or just you know the 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 um just an issue with the tv because i actually noticed it that it sometimes it just starts to you know be a little bit slower but this uh, this is not it's not something i have experienced with my high sense tv so far so you want to keep that in mind as well another difference between hisense smart tv and the skyward smart tv is actually on the price now you see both tvs are quite different in terms of price hisense tvs are way more expensive than skyward tvs now i really feel like this is because hisense is way more popular and then they just you know put some prices to their products because of the brand name and that is actually fair you know in nigeria here for instance the price difference of a 55 inch Hisense Smart TV and a Skyward 55 inch um, Smart TV is over a hundred thousand naira. Now, if you're in Nigeria, you know that that is a lot of money. So, but then, I mean, that is that is what it is. And if you want to get a product like Hisense, you actually have to pay that amount. Now, moving over to their similarities, both the Vida Hisense Smart TV and the Skyward Android TV are both smart TVs. Now by this i mean that you can basically still you know get apps from their their respective app stores and you can also access the internet you know watch movies from the internet and even stream you know things from the internet directly with these both tvs but of course they have different operating system now coming down to these um, specifications of both tvs they are also almost the same um i think they both have um two usb ports and then three hdmi um, ports as well now every other thing is almost the same they, they um, both have different picture modes they also have um they, i think the adobe vision is also the same for both tvs bluetooth and wi-fi so you're basically getting every other thing you know the same now finally on the question of whether to go for a hisense tv or a skyward tv i personally feel like it is something of personal preference that is your personal preference now if you're somebody that wants to go or that that wants something that is durable you know and you know with better picture quality then hisense is obviously a good option for you on the other hand if you want something that is a little bit cheaper you know and you you can't actually do it without without the android operating system like me then you should go for skyward you know tv now Generally speaking, I, I feel like the biggest, you know, advantage the Skyward operating system or the Skyward TV rather will have over the the Hisense TV is, you know, on the operating system, you know, because Skyward comes with, you know, the Android or Google operating system, which is a very good thing because if you if you have used the you know Hisense TV with the video operating system without having to add the, the you know Google Box or something then you know how frustrating the vida operating system in itself is you know you can't get a whole lot of apps you know that someone that is just using say a, a cheaper product is obviously getting and um, to get that you have to go to go get a google box which now overrides the vida operating system or you have to cast your android screen into the tv now basically that is what i would say on you know my personal recommendation for you guys out there okay guys now this will be the end of today's video um if this video was helpful to you i do encourage that you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more tv tips like this one you can also check the description of this video you know to see my other videos on you know hisense tvs and skyward tvs just make sure you check the description of the video you know to watch other you know other tvs and how to do certain things for yourself you know with your tv